This video is going to take you through five different ways that you can swaddle your baby. The first swaddle is probably my favourite one. It's the one that I use every single day with my own baby. Put out your blanket square and put your baby in the middle of the top. Then you're going to wrap one side around the arm all the way around the body and tuck it under the other arm all the way around to the back. Now you want to make sure that you're laying the blanket flat on the back so there aren't any lumps for them to lie on. Next, get the other side and wrap that around. You're going to wrap this around the whole body and the other arm and tuck it underneath. Again, keeping it very flat with no bumps and lumps and bring it around to the other side. Now get the bottom of the blanket and bring it up as far as, as, far as it's comfortable. Now you don't want the legs to be pulled up, you want that to be loose so the baby can move their legs around. So tuck one side under and around and the other side under and around again. Again, making sure there are no lumps and bumps. Then tuck the end into that um, bit of slip that you've made. Now your baby is one happy little burrito. This swaddle is really great and it's, if you do it quite tight, the baby can't get out of it. Swaddle number two, this is a really popular swaddle that a lot of people use. So you're going to lay your blanket out in diamond shape and fold the top down. Now, depending on how big your baby is, is how much you'll fold that down. So you can do a little triangle or you can do a bigger triangle. So take one side and tuck one arm in and around, just like the last swaddle. Tuck that all the way under the back, making it very smooth. Then you're gonna get the bottom of the swaddle and you're gonna tuck that up. So if your baby's really small, you can tuck it over the shoulder. If your baby's a bit bigger, you're gonna just tuck it in sort of around the chest area. Then take the other side, wrap the baby all the way around, tuck it into the bottom. And then with that last bit of tag, you're just gonna slip that into a hole down the bottom just to keep it out of the way and so it sticks. Swaddle number three looks really great because you tie a knot in the bottom, so it looks fantastic. So just like the last swaddle, you're going to lie it out in a diamond and fold down to make a triangle. Then you're gonna take one side, pop the arm down and wrap it all the way around the baby, underneath. Then you're gonna get the other side and wrap the other arm in and all the way around the body, all the way around the back. And then you're gonna put all those pieces together and give them a bit of a twist. So twist them up and then tie them into a knot. This one looks super cute, but if you're gonna move your baby around quite a lot, it doesn't hold quite as tight. Swaddle number four, the arms are a little bit up towards the chest rather than down to the sides. So lie your blanket down in a rectangle and fold over the top. Then lie your baby in the middle Pop one arm under the fold and then wrap that all the way around the body. Now you're going to tuck the second arm under the fold as well and then you're going to wrap that around. So you're going to wrap that around the back and bring it up onto the other side. And then you're going to still tuck that end into the fold that you just made. You can see the arms are up at the chest. Then you're going to bring all those blankets down the bottom, give it a bit of a twist and tie it into a knot again. If you've got a really wriggly baby, this one might not be so good because they can escape it. Swaddle number five is quite different and this is excellent if your baby tends to escape the other swaddles. So lay your blanket down as a square, put your baby in the middle of it, and then you're actually going to wrap the blanket around the arm and put it in under the baby. Now, really important, don't do this too tight. So you wanna put the blanket around the arm and tuck it under flat, but make sure that the baby's arms can move up a little bit so that they're not uncomfortable. So you want the arms to be able to move to the front of the body. You just don't want them to be able to bring the arms right up. So you're gonna do that with both sides. And then you're gonna bring that bottom blanket up to the chest. You're gonna tuck one side underneath and then you're gonna tuck the other side underneath as well. It's really important that you don't make those arms too tight back. You want the arms to be free to move a little bit further forward. So tuck that other bit around and tuck it up into the fold near the shoulder. So this way the baby actually can't move their arms all the way out, they can just move them up a little bit forward. And the legs are nice and loose so there's some movement there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope it was really helpful. Now you might like to check out these videos if you've got a new baby as well.